Today's software is a complete game changer for reading, summarizing, and understanding research articles. So this is SciSpace. You can get to it by going to typeset.io, and this will also be in the link in the description below. And what they have just come out with is an AI co-pilot that really becomes like a research assistant. You ask it questions and it gives you information. So that's what I'm gonna be walking you through today. So once you come in here, you can create a free account and that'll allow you to actually store the papers that you're working on in there, or you can just search without an account at all. So I'm just gonna search my most common steroids and ion mobility and press enter, we can see that we get papers starting to show up here. So I can just open these up in new tabs. So I'm gonna open this one up. This was my first research paper. And you can already see that you can get like little snippet summaries here. So if I just go to the three minute summary, it just gives me like general bullet points of the specific information that I'm looking for. So this is really similar to a paper digest or a scholar C that you could get if you're interested in this. But I specifically want to show you Copilot. So if I open this up, you can see that I've already started asking it questions over here and it's giving me answers with this one because this is an open access paper. So SciSpace is able to actually access this paper. But if I go to one like this, it can't access this paper because it's not an open access paper. And so if I start asking it questions, it might have a difficult time giving me really good answers because it's not an open access paper. So this actually was able to give me a good answer using the abstract, but what you can always do if you want to access the full paper that maybe SciSpace doesn't have access to is you can upload a PDF in. So I'm going to click upload PDF and I'm going to upload one of my PDF files. And so I can just drag and drop it in or click browse. So I'm going to click browse. I'm going to go into my downloads and I'm going to open up this one right here. So this is the paper that I actually just put out a video on walking through this paper and how I wrote it. This is my second published paper here. And I'm gonna click upload one file and it's gonna upload it into the system. And now you can see there's two here because I had already uploaded this one earlier just to be able to play around. with. So now I wanna open up this paper and actually give you a good idea of what this co-pilot can do. So I'm just gonna click on it to open it up. If you watch my video, How to Read a Research Article Effectively, I talk about how you always need to have a question before you go into a research article because it helps you understand that research article better. And so this is what this is so awesome for because now you don't even have to go search for the questions. You can just ask the co-pilot and it's going to give you your answers. So certain questions that it kind of already prompts you is things like describe the main approaches, what are the key takeaways, what is unique about this paper? So one thing we can do is just write in, what is the summary of this paper? And so you can see that it gave me an answer and it says this paper discusses how twins can be useful to separate out steroid isomers, particularly those that are metal adducted and form multimers. Now this, I, I never said these words specifically. Like I think this does a really, really good job of translating academic scholarly writing into succinct plain language for people to understand. These results of, or the results of the study showed that twins can separate steroid isomers with reduced resolution compared to single component standards due to the formation of heteromultimers. I don't think I've ever seen a summarization tool actually be able to pull out that. Like though that, I mean, that is, that is the paper basically. The CCSs were measured and compared with CCSs obtained from single. These results said that CCSs can do that. And then finally a complex mixture was analyzed. This is actually probably one of the best summaries that I've seen an AI do. Like this is actually all accurate. And so we can also, I wanna try out this, what is unique about this paper. I'm really interested in what it pulls out for that. It's pulling this same information as it did in the summary, but that is what is unique about this paper is it, this was the paper that did mixtures versus single component. I was hoping it would give me a little bit more, but it is very similar to the summary, but it's pulling out specifically what is unique about this summary versus others. 
so let's do a couple more. What does this paper conclude? So overall, yeah, like this is actually doing a really good job of pulling this out. I'm also going to ask what are the limitations of this paper. This is one, if you have not checked out my 30 day research jumpstart guide, this is one of the ways that you can start developing ideas. And if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description below. So it's completely free, like PDF that walks you through how to develop your ideas and find research papers and all of that. So if I'm, what are the limitations of this paper is one way that you can start looking for research ideas. So if I can get that information without even having to go read the paper, that would actually be really awesome. So it's saying the major limitation of this paper is that it only focuses on the use of twins and mass for steroid analysis. Further studies may be needed to explore the use of other techniques for steroid analysis and to further optimize the TWIMS and MASS technique. The resolutions were based on the analysis of mixtures and further studies may be needed to assess resolution of single component standards. So that's really interesting because this part right here has already been done. That was actually done previous to this paper. So I wouldn't really call most of this a limitation of this paper. What I was really hoping they would pull out here is the fact that the heterodimer decreases resolution, but the actual, if we go to the bottom here, I wanna show you what specifically I say here. So I specifically talk about doing it in tandem with chromatography. So it is kind of getting similar, the fact that I only did TWIMS and MS and that something in tandem with that could be helpful. So now let's jump into more specific questions that you can ask. So if you were reading this and you see TWIMS MS and you're like, okay, well, I don't know what that is. Let's just ask it, what is TWIMS? So if I'm just reading this and I don't understand what a specific word is, can Copilot just give me the answer to what that word is? So TWIMS is a technique that combines traveling wave eye mobility spectrometry with mass spectrometry. And then it actually tells me what TWIMS is. That's, that's so cool. So like if you're, I get this all the time when I'm reading biology papers, cause I'm like reading it and I go, what is this word? I could just ask Copilot instead of having to keep going up and referencing the introduction section and things like that. I can also ask what solutions were used in this paper. I'm curious about this because solutions is like two component. Like for me, I'm talking about like chemical solutions, but it also could be pulling in like yeah, so it pulled in a different version of solutions, which is like, how would it be used? So that's not what I was looking for. What mixtures were used in this paper? So it says the paper used mixtures of steroid isomers, which is accurate, specifically monomer, trimer, and metal adducts, as well as a heterodimer formation. That's, I mean, that's not really the mixture. That's just what came out of it. Only complex mixture of five was analyzed. So that is true, but I guess I'm not getting what I really want. So what if I do, what approaches were used in this? So this is pulling in pretty good, all of this, except here, this was never used. Ultra high performance LC coupled to tandem mass spec. That was an an intro. That was a that was a part of the intro, I think. I think it's combining those together. So again, you always kind of want to, if you're gonna reference this, I would always double check things that you're doing. But I do want to show you one last thing that you can do with Copilot that I think is actually really, really cool. So we know that in a lot of research articles, it can be really hard to understand what the author actually meant because People think it's really nice to use all these jargony language and stuff like that. So what Copilot has actually done is given explanations. So I can highlight anything in this text and it will actually give me an explanation for that. So I wanna highlight this sentence here. It says the isobaric nature of, of the optimum separation of six different steroids makes distinguishing them much more challenging, challenging if accomplished as a single mixture. So I'm gonna just highlight it and it's gonna populate it into my copilot and then it's gonna tell me what it means. So the highlighted text is referring to the difficulty of separating different steroids from each other when they are present as a single mixture. This is because it is difficult to distinguish between different steroids when they are isobaric have the same mass. So the fact that it's like telling me what that means, I don't have to go figure it out. 
So isobaric steroids have the same mass to charge ratio and therefore cannot be separated from each other using mass spectrometry. As a result, if steroid analysis is to be accomplished as a single mixture, it is much more challenging to distinguish the different steroids from each other. I think that's a really good way to break this down into plain English. I think Copilot does really, really good on the overarching things and on the explaining. Like breaking jargon into plain English, I think it does an amazing job of this. And I mean, I would definitely recommend using it especially because it's free for you to use, like just go check it out. So let's see if I can figure out one other place that I can maybe show you guys. Let's do, I'm gonna do like all of this. Can I just explain all of this to me? So it's discussing the results of a study. The study found that while it was possible to separate the isomers, there were also additional non-isomeric heterodimer species present throughout the mass range, which could affect quantitation. This means that it may be difficult to accurately measure the amount of each steroid present in the sample, which is completely accurate. And I don't think, I, yeah, I don't actually use those words. Honestly, this could probably help you with your own writing and being like, what is the more plain English way to say this? The text also suggests that further investigation is needed in order to determine if it is possible to accurately quantify the amount of each steroid present in the sample. In other words, more research is needed to determine if this method is reliable for measuring the amount of steroids present in a sample. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I don't have many critiques of this. I think the one thing, I know they're continually working on making this better and better, like it just came out earlier this week. So I think the one thing is that just some of the more specific questions, you might wanna just make sure double check with the actual article to make sure it is making sense. But I think using it as a way to summarize articles, answer specific questions, and especially if you're reading it and you don't know what this one thing means, being able to ask it that instead of having to go to Google or somewhere else to try and figure out that information, I think is such a game changer to making us more efficient. So if you want to check this out, I will leave a link in the description below that you can go check it out, upload your own files, search, and be able to play with this co-pilot setting. If you want a way to download a real quick summary of a research paper, you can also check out Paper Digest, and this, there will be a video here all about that, or you can check out my playlist for how to organize your literature. If this content was helpful, please like it and subscribe to this channel for more tips on how to become more efficient in your research. I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.